It's been a while since I've done anything with the miter saw station and there's really only one thing left to do before I can say it's finished and that's the stop system that will work with the side wing uh, fences you could say to make repeatable cuts. I've got the material here I'm going to build it from. This is a piece of scrap maple. This is one inch thick and two inches wide and I've got this piece here. This is three quarters of an inch thick and an inch wide and what this will do it'll clamp on the side table and then this stick will move in and out it'll actually stay in, in one position for most cuts but when you want to get in closer make sure cut shorter pieces it'll extend out this way on the right onto the uh, miter saw itself so i need to cut this to length uh, my wings are six and a half I figure that an inch and a half overhanging on the back will be enough, so that makes it eight, I do believe. <laughs> Six and a half and one and a half is eight. So I'll just mark that and I'll cut it on the miter saw. Now I need a piece that I can fasten on that will make the T on the back. And I've got the off cut from the piece that I just cut. I'm gonna cut that down to an inch and a half wide and three quarters of an inch thick. There are a couple of holes on the end there making it unsightly plus it really doesn't need to be this long so I'm going to trim it off to about four and a half. Alright the next thing I need to do is take my block here line it up with the face on the side wing and I need to figure out where that stick is going to be. Ideally, I'd like to just tight up against the fence on the saw. And I think that's probably the best location for it. So I'll make that flush and I'll make a mark right here. And it'll show me where I need to cut my notch. All right, so this stick is the one that's going to fit in the notch. So I'm going to use that to mark the width. And I'm going to mark it on this side, actually. I'm going to line it up with the marker I've already got there and put one right here. I also want to cut this so that when this fits in the notch it's sticking up a little bit so I'll be able to clamp it down tight to it and it won't move. So I've raised my blade or I've lowered my blade actually to the right height for that. And now I'm going to use my mini table saw sled to make a series of cuts to remove the material for that notch. Now that I've got the notch cut, I can add the T at the back. I've got it clamped on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the pilot holes first and then drive the screws in. And then after it's screwed together, I'll take it apart again and I'll add some glue in there. I find it a lot easier to do it in that order. And that way the parts are not moving around all over the place after the glue goes in. Before the glue sets up, it's a good idea to check this to make sure that it's still square and everything looks good. The next thing I need to do with this is I need to drill a hole in the end here for a hanger bolt that I want to put in for the knob that tightens it on. Got a clamp to my vise here. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of construction adhesive in that hole. And put a little bit on the screw as well. Stick it in the end there. And then I'll screw that in. I've got two nuts on the end here that are jammed against each other. And I'll just use the ratchet. Screw that in. I need to put another hanger bolt in. Actually, you could use a regular bolt for this, but I have these, so I'll use them. And that's the one that holds the stick that goes across. And I'll drill the same size hole and drive it in the same way. Well, I don't need this one quite as long, so I'm just going to trim the end off with my hacksaw. Once again, I've got the construction adhesive squeezed into the hole and two knots on the thing here to tighten it in. 
Okay, there's not a whole lot to the block that holds it on the end here. I made this out of plywood though. Uh, solid wood will work, but it's more likely to crack um, with the pressure. Although you won't be putting much pressure on here. It's just, you know, my preference to use plywood for this kind of thing. So I drilled the hole, I have 5 sixteenths. That'll clear that uh, hanger bolt really well. I got one other thing I need to do though, and that's to add a screw up here that will keep it uh, straight up and down and keep it in line. The screw is just there to keep it upright. It's not there to hold it in tight. So I'll just be driving that in loosely. Okay, that moves freely, comes off, no problem. And all I need to do is add a fender washer and a stir knob, and then I can tighten that up. But I'll want to wait until the glue has fully set on the back here before I do that. Okay, once again, same uh, thing for the one that holds the stick in on the top. I've used half inch plywood this time though. I've already drilled the hole and clamped it on with a wing nut. I'm gonna drill through right now. And then I can take it off again and enlarge that hole and then drive the screw that will hold it loosely in place. I've only got a couple more things left to do. First thing I got to do is extend the bottom of this rod down a bit so that it will actually reach the surface of the thing almost. I don't want it scraping on it, but I want it close to it. Better to have a little bit of a gap underneath it so that any dust that happens to be there can get pushed in and it won't get in the way of what you're putting up against it. So I'm just gonna cut another piece of maple to the right size and glue that on to the bottom. I'm also going to need a pointer. Now there are a couple of different ways I could do that. Actually several, but I'm going to make mine from quarter inch plywood. I'm just going to notch out the corner of it and then I'll just sand it to a point on my disc sander. To make this adjustable, I need to cut a slot into it. And the easiest way to do that is just to drill a series of holes here on the drill press and then clean out in between. Okay, that's the way that goes. You just put it in place and I'll be able to move it side to side to adjust it. So I'm going to mark where I need to drill the hole for the screw and then I can put that in. And that'll about do it for this build actually. So I've got the stick put back in and the way this would be adjusted is this stick would go all the way back until this bottom piece that I added comes up hard against that and then that lines up with that pointer that I just put on. So the pointer will mark, it will point to the place on the tape where the end of this uh, stick is. So that will be where your stock will go up against it to make your cut. And it is exactly 22 and a half inches long. So a good cut. Um, this is the way I like to do things. This really turned out the way that I wanted it to. I'm glad I actually held off before making this, so I gave it a lot more thought. Um, perfect size, I think. Nice and compact, well designed. And like I say, I'm not going to be using this all the time, so I can either put it down in the drawer or I can just tuck it away inside here. These are the ports where I can reach in and clean the dust out. Put it in there, it'll be handy. I can grab it when I need it.